So volatilization loss is the loss of nitrogen to the atmosphere as ammonia gas. One of the phenomena that we see in our research is that the higher the nitrogen application rate, the higher the amount of volatilization loss we can experience as a percent of N applied. And when we translate that to absolute pounds, it becomes an even larger amount. And so it has caused us to develop the mantra that more N is not the answer. If we apply more unprotected N, we will simply lose more of our nitrogen investment. And so the reason that that happens is a concentration effect. The urea granules uh, or the UAN application zone, uh, the nitrogen molecules are closer together and those zones of pH increase tend to overlap and influence one another, uh, causing a more rapid uh, and, and greater magnitude change in pH, which increases volatilization loss as a function of nitrogen concentration. The most common dry form that we would experience uh, in North America would be urea. Urea is a carbon containing compound that has to be hydrolyzed uh, in the soil by the urease enzyme uh, in order to liberate the ammonium and make it plant available. So anytime we have urea applied to the soil surface or shallow incorporated, it is subject to potentially as much as 30 to 40 percent uh, losses of applied N. That is a risk uh, factor that, you know, as a farmer, I am not willing to accept. I, I definitely want to treat that, that nitrogen, uh, even if I'm planning to incorporate it with a modern tillage tool like a vertical tillage implement. It simply doesn't incorporate deep enough or consistently enough to prevent that volatilization loss, and we really should be protecting that application. We often get the question, how much nitrogen will I lose to volatilization? And the answer in classic agronomic fashion is it depends. And it depends on a whole series of different factors, all of which affect the rate of urea hydrolysis and subsequent volatilization. The first factor that influences volatilization loss is soil moisture. Uh, because water is required in the hydrolysis reaction. Hydrolysis actually translates to break with water. And so water is required as a part of that process. And so we will experience higher volatilization losses when we apply urea to a moist soil that is drying versus a bone dry soil. The second factor that would affect volatilization loss would be soil pH. The higher the initial starting pH, the further we shift the nitrogen balance and equilibrium toward ammonia gas and the higher the amount of loss that we experience. The third factor that affects volatilization loss uh, would be soil CEC, cation exchange capacity. Lower CEC soils have less ability to adsorb and retain ammonium cations, and they have less ability to resist that localized increase in pH that happens during hydrolysis, uh, meaning they have less buffering capacity. A factor that really comes into play with post uh, emergent applications of urea is temperature. Uh, because this is an enzymatic reaction uh, mediated by the urease enzyme, which is everywhere in the soil environment, uh, enzymes work faster at higher temperature. And so hydrolysis really becomes unlimited when we get, it, get to temperatures above 80 degrees Fahrenheit. One of the most important factors in ammonia volatilization loss is plant residue. High residue cropping systems like no-till, reduced till, and cover cropping scenarios uh, have a triple threat when it comes to volatilization loss. The first is that the urease enzyme that facilitates hydrolysis is in greater concentration in plant residue than in the surrounding soil. Uh, so the urea would be exposed to more urease enzyme. Uh, the second would be that when a, a particle of urea lands on top of a piece of residue, uh, that residue prevents contact with the soil and so we're not capitalizing on the soil cation exchange capacity to hold uh, the, the end that might be uh, released during hydrolysis. And the third component of residue is that that piece of residue traps moisture underneath and at the soil surface and moisture again it catalyzes the hydrolysis reaction.